going to share a little demonstration of painting atmospheric landscapes. So I'm going to start out for this first one by mixing just a nice gray. Because this is a small scale, I'm not worrying about pre-wetting, but I'm applying a wash. I'm going side to side, and now I've rinsed my brush, so I'm going to lighten it, doing what's called a gradient. And I'm giving it some angles to bring a little interest. Then I'm going to set this aside to dry. Next, I think I'll do some more sunset colors. I'm going to start with this bold, pure new gamboche. When applying colors, I like to vary their intensity and vary their, just uh, in general in skies, the colors. And let's see here, maybe next we'll do maybe a, maybe a dusty sort of sunrise sky with quinacridone rose. Maybe I'll add a little blue to this. Now that my paper's dried, I can go in and add one more little layer of paint. What I want to demonstrate to you today is a technique called fading out. And then I'm just going to use my imagination here, um, but I'm going to do a little bit of a line. Let's see, maybe kind of a mountainscape. And now that I've done that line, I can rinse my brush. And with this clean brush, I can run it along the base to fade it down to the bottom. If I wanna add some more darks, I can add those additional darks. And then just like when I was thinking about my washes in the background, I'll vary my tones and my colors a little bit. So these are very simple little landscapes, but it's amazing what just having that um, wash in the background and then a simple faded foreground can do. All right, I think I'll call that one done. And let's do just one more. Maybe I'll imagine a little bit of like a, a cityscape. Some tall high rises, varying some of my tones and colors. Maybe we'll imagine a little steeple here. Just kind of thinking about a little pattern of vertical and horizontal shapes. So I hope these three little simple landscapes can inspire you to think about using washes of color in a background and doing layers over where you can use techniques of fading out and varying your color and value of the, the paint you add on. So have fun and I uh, would love to hear about what you explore.